So I really feel like humanity is being played and here's why. I feel like we are being constructed in, we are being boxed into this form of reality that is constructed by this, let's just say you could say Masons, Jews, whatever, even by the people that run the world with 13 families and things like that. I don't really believe we actually lack doctors. I don't believe we lack storytellers. I don't believe we lack entertainers. I don't believe we lack singers. I don't believe we lack builders i don't believe we lack anything i really truly believe just like how there's trees that fulfill the purpose their purpose just like how the sand on the earth fulfills its purpose just like how the waters flow and fulfills its purpose just like how everything that god put knows its relative position without god even telling it and it transforms and it moves according to the geometric feel and will of god i truly believe that if humanity was just nurtured and allowed to flourish i truly believe that everything would come into on, on its own everything would be put together on its own like we wouldn't have to try hard we wouldn't have to do everything that we're doing right now but we make life harder by thinking so hard we make life hard by you know practicalizing so hard you know we became so left-brained and we think now we have to sit here and be like one plus one equals two and sure yeah we need people like that but we also forgot about about our right brain our creativity our subjectivity and how we can come to the same conclusion just from our own subjectivity because there's multiple angles to attack a problem like let's say we were to create a solution for their water for water to be you know for water to be in africa and shit like that there are so many solutions to attack that problem that if I really truly feel like if humanity was just allowed to flourish beyond these corporations like BlackRock and all these guys, we would really be able to come like, look, don't get me wrong. There's still going to be war. There's still going to be all these things. But if we can all become really like self, which is kind of far away from us, but if we can become like really self-actualized and we can really just realize that, damn, I'm really just killing a piece of myself when I kill somebody else. Now, Look, if when you get really deep into this, shit get real, bro. Shit get real. Because there's a lot of things in this world that people do and they have no remorse for whatsoever. And that's kind of what it takes to run the world. That's why the Bible tells you, you know, like the ruthless, they run the world. You got to be ruthless almost to run the world. But it's very interesting because I, I truly feel like though, Humanity, if nurtured and flourished, because a lot of people be low-hanging fruit. That's also can be an issue, but I feel like if people were nurtured and just shown the way, like through proper spiritual teachings, I really feel like everyone has the potential to redeem themselves because a lot of spirits is automatically negative. But see, we're supposed, we're supposed to use our negative space, our subjectivity, to come up with some the chaos that goes on inside of us not to get lost outside of us and get other people lost in our chaos and use our chaos to hurt people. We're supposed to use our chaos, our subjectivity, to come up with some form of objectivity that can, um, you know, help other people without hurting, harming, and defrauding others. Because everything that corporations and governments do hurt, harms, and fraud, and is just a fraud, pretty much. It's really not. Help. Think about. Think about all the money that we give the billions of dollars that we give to the u.s government or the canadian government or wherever you are i i don't see schools getting built i don't see uh you know i i just don't see let's, let's say you know the hood for example i don't see black people making it out of their situation because if the government really wanted to help those people they really do got the tools and the ways to attack that situation and help those people because they the ones who put them in those projects in the first place. they the ones who put them in these close proximities in the first place and started adding variables in the hood like crack and cocaine and all these things. And so it's like you're adding fuel on top of the fire and things like that. And so they be knowing what they're doing because they know what type of things to add to create conflict and war and separate the family. And that's, that's the crazy part because their God, Yahweh, is a God of war. Like their book tells you, it's a god of storms. And that god of storms is like, um, you know, causing chaos. Because that's, that's what it means to cause a storm. To just come in and confuse everybody with your communication, with your linguistics, with your logic, with your language, with your 
latitude and shit like that. And it just fucked up so much shit. Now, I can't blame them because humanity is already kind of messed up. Like I was saying, like a lot of spirits coming out of this space is pretty negative in general. So I can't get mad at them for taking power. But at the same time, though, I really do truly see that if they became like a spiritual group that with the purpose of actually enlightening and awakening humanity and leading and it could have started that way but depending on how the leadership gets passed on it's just like how the government elects the leader right well all that is fake but let's just say there is a leader in the government right that's elected by the people and shit like that it's really not elected by the people it's really just elected by let's say the the masons and the, so whoever is like behind closed doors but it's just like how let's say like okay you have one prime minister one president in the office and they have this whole agenda for their whole term the next thing you know you have another president in the office and they have this whole opposite agenda for the next three years or four years or whatever so it you never really truly get anything done you just have this back and forth back and forth back and forth between these polar shifts like ding ding crash ding expansion ding crash expansion ding crash so it's like that's all that really be going that's, that's all that really be going on and that's the that's what that's, that's what that's the thing that's why i'm very spiritual and i understand this shit and i understand why they do certain things but it's still but it's still kind of fucked up because i really know in my heart and my gut that humanity can't be helped and i really believe that humanity is worth helping because we are nothing but potential we are nothing but potential we are nothing but something that is yet to be realized we are evolving spiritually physically mentally in all aspects and i truly believe if because think about all the things that they do to put you in fear the news cycle um everything that they put you under as far as these led screens and what they hold your attention into down to the music industry industry that they support look at the music that they promote niggas shooting each other in the hood all types of shit so it's like I, get, uh, I gotta point the finger at them too and be like, what the fuck is y'all doing? Y'all grown ass people with the whole world in your hands and y'all acting like little kids doing dumb shit like that. For what? Just to maintain your little fucking stupid rulership that you can't even maintain in existence if you even try? Because that's the nature of existence. Since existence is meant to change anyways. Like in any real spiritual plane, rulership always get passed on based on the times that we in. So yeah, right now we in these times and it might appear like uh, this, it might appear like certain people is in control, but it's always changing. You can never really hold on to nothing truly. So it's just like we have these like people in power, they don't really wanna let go. But at the same time though, that's exactly what they have to do, let go for their own spiritual well-being as well. Cause this, this shit is actually gonna mess them up in the head. Like, they they can't even leave Earth. They're trapped on Earth. They're like, yeah, they're like, they're like trapped on Earth. They can't go nowhere until they, I don't want to say deal with their karma. Because you can't even, you can go to a worse place than this planet that we're on right now. But still, I, that's, that's, that, that's the thing, man. I really believe that humanity is worth it. It's just going to take a lot of effort from our side to fight the resistance that's being, uh, shoved down our throat by the shadow government but it's really at the end of the day you really have to save yourself you have to work on saving yourself before you even try you know saving anyone else because if you don't save yourself the only thing other people is going to do like based on the crab pull the other crab down the barrel mentality you're going to get pulled down so you really got to put yourself in position so it's a really tricky world because a lot of people don't be conscious enough to see what you doing is like helping existence God on the highest level and yourself and everyone else just by you helping yourself but it takes you to be kind of like a cold ruthless motherfucker as well to be able to help the whole world because that's the thing people is going to come after you they kill Jesus and what makes you think they're not going to kill you or try to kill me first of all they can't do that to me because I shit uh, fuck you up spiritually first of all you know what I'm saying <laughs> Lord Jesus Christ, let's not go there. But that's the thing. Humanity is worth it. I truly believe that. It's just that there's certain powers at place that stop 
the full potential wow of humanity from blooming like a lotus flower. Real fucking shit.